After U.S. missile strikes in Syria, a well-known Louisiana general is giving his thoughts on the matter. Mike Carter tells us why retired Lieutenant General Russell Honore believes the U.S. shouldn't shy away from its responsibilities in Syria, but he warns against going alone. It's been nearly a week since the U.S. launched a tactical missile strike against a Syrian chemical weapons depot believed to have been used by President Bashar al-Assad to kill more than 80 of his own people. I use three words to describe this operation, precise, overwhelming, and effective. It's a sentiment shared by Lieutenant General Russell Honore, a man familiar with taking action, leading a joint task force after Hurricane Katrina. And while Honore is glad the U.S. took action to uphold international law, he still has reservations about the mission. I think the things that concern me even more is uh, our allies as well as regional forces that were not involved. Uh, Syria is a very complex issue. Uh, it's in the midst of a civil war. Uh, had Russian forces on the ground, have Iranian forces on the ground, and U.S. forces. And then there's the Kurds in the north who are fighting for their ancestral land, and they're caught in between the Turks and the Syrian army. In the last 24 hours, we've heard from the U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley saying that Russian sanctions were almost a foregone conclusion. Today, the president walking back those comments. Do you worry about there not being one unified voice about what to do on Russia if it continues meddling in Syria moving forward? It's probably not the first time it happened, but it happens way too frequently in this administration. But I think this is indicative of what happened when we don't have a functioning national security team. I think it gives great pause to our allies because sitting in their shoes, as you and I are watching the news, oh, this is what's going on. Now we hear a piece of breaking news, or we're going to wait for the Paul Harvey. What's the rest of the story? Honore says if Assad continues to use chemical attacks on the Syrian people, that the U.S. should go after Assad's palace in Damascus. Because right now he's walking around like it doesn't mean nothing because you got the Russians protecting them. In the calculation, do the Russians want to start a world war over Syria? Honore doesn't think so. In Baton Rouge, Mike Carter, KATC TV3. Well, Louisiana's medical school leaders are urging 